Hello. I'd love to keep playing music for you, but copyrights, Sunday the 22nd of May. And the reason why I'm uh, making a video today was because I went ahead and went to the local record fair. They have one, tw they try to have one twice a year here in, in Omaha. In the spring, this one, and then in October. And uh, I hadn't been to one in quite a while. COVID really uh, disrupted things. But even since then, I don't think I've been to a um, local record show. Years ago, when they first started happening here, in the 80s, I would have a table. I would um, sell, get it for a while, and then... So... At first, I was thinking, I'm probably not going to find anything today as I was looking around. Of course, I see and know quite a few of the people there and am known by quite a few people there. I was recognized, someone who told me about being part of his past. I still can't remember this fella. Told me a story about, you know, working with him in the hospital, but then afterwards um, having some contact with him, actually meeting his mom and stuff. I still can't remember the guy. But um, um, it was fun, and um, I did find a few things. I was happy that I found actually found a couple of um, items worth mentioning. And the, the first one that I'll mention is what I was playing. I used to have this album and sold it. Coliseum 2, John Heisman's band. Electric Savage. This is when he had Gary Moore and Don Airy in the band. Good players. And um, glad to get it back. And I was really happy. I didn't even notice it at the time. But I got a, I got a UK pressing up at this time. Whereas my original copy was um, US, obviously. It's that um, kind of frenetic fusion sound where it's like a lot of fast and furiousness going on here that was a good find um knew several of the of the sellers of course and a lot of the customers just you know was really nice socially it was uh, really fun this morning to run into a lot of people and um i had a person ask me what my uh I had never met him before, but this musician here uh, turned this, gave this to me. Vidal and the shadowy figures. He asked me, "What is? What do I charge for studio work?" And I said, "I'm. It's mostly, you know, whether or not I'm interested." So I took his card, and I'll see what I think. We'll take it from there. But the I was happy to find this and I've never owned it on CD I mean on vinyl I've had it on CD since it came out but I love the Doherty column the guitar and other machines a very singular sound on the guitar Doherty column Vinnie Riley you instantly recognize his playing and no one else sounds like him very cool I did see one of my albums uh, for sale um, my Sonna Spears album, One Table Had a, co a Copy for Sale. I offered to sign it, but no one had any had anything. This was a good find. I won't, don't imagine I'll play it a whole lot. It's all voice. But the Ogan label, to start with, don't see many things on this label. Um, British jazz-based label. And this is with some of the best. Ma Julie Tippetts, Maggie Nichols, Phil Minton, Brian Ely. Voice. So it's all voice. And these folks are all quite accomplished and adventurous with what they do with their voices. So um, this will be a, a journey to get into. I found two more records, and these were like, my, for me, these were the big finds of the day. These were good finds, and at decent prices, that's the other thing is, they, there were sellers there who had stuff that was interesting and collectible, but they want the full collector's prices for them. 
and um, I'm just not ready to spend $200 for one record even though if I were to sell my copy of that record I would try to get that for it so it's very happy to find this dulcimer and I turned as I had turned as a boy came out on Mercury Records I think it was 1970 when this came out I remember seeing this um, back in the day intrigued by the uh, artwork but I don't remember seeing it as a cutout I don't even know if it uh, I don't know because the copy I found today is a white label promo this is really good it's the sort of thing I'm looking for it is English based folk rock there's poetry on here the spoken word stuff is by Richard Todd and this is strong this is good the cover tells you this is good the uh, quality and the writing and everything about this matches the cover I was very happy to find this at a very decent price very decent price and they gave me this a discount on top of it very happy to find this my other real happy find was was this from 1970 the advancement early mixture of baroque classical and jazz elements in a rock sort of setting the players on here um, some of them come from Gabor Zabo's band which the backstory explains but the other name that caught my attention on here is the vibraphonist Lynn Blessing who I forget the original connection I thought it was soft machine that maybe he did some session work for but excuse me as a player he caught my attention a while back this is very very good and it's not a typical sound either this is very good almost um, somewhere along the lines of um, David Axelrod um, stuff like that was real happy to find this today the advancement so I just wanted to just um, touch base right quick because I you know kind of in my mind to take the weekends off anymore overall things have been pretty good here life wise I had to have a conversation with my neighbors about their dogs they're still relatively new I think they've been in that house over a year now but they have four dogs I don't even know why you'd want to have four dogs living in a house inside the house with you but one of them is a Rottweiler type and when I go to get into my car if he's outside he'll jump up he barks you know not friendly but he's got to the point now where he jumps up on the fence like he's gonna try to get me so I went over to my neighbors today before I went to the record show because when I went out to my car sure enough that dog was out and that's what he did so I went to my neighbors and I said hey what's up with this man you know I'm I'm worried about getting in my car because of your damn dog so the neighbors apologized and said they plan to put something up so that um, I have protection and I told them I'd appreciate it because I don't appreciate I, <laughs> I ain't done none of these damn dogs and to, to actually have to feel concerned just to get to my car and then I also showed him how I'm parking way over in my own driveway away from their side just so the dog can't answer you know just accidentally or just jump over or lean over and get me as I'm trying to get in the fucking car something that happened today so okay that's what I wanted to share I'm gonna give this person a listen to see what he's doing because I told him I say no more often than yes and it's not about money you know he's talking about hiring me it's like well that's not enough you know if I I gotta like what you're doing so I'm gonna check it out now y'all have a good good life okay enjoy <laughs> 